Welcome to Learn Data with Mark. In this video, we're going to learn how to use JSON path aggregation functions. Now, JSON path is a Java DSL for reading JSON documents, uh, and it's published to Maven Central, so you can easily import it into your Maven or Gradle project. Now, we're going to be using the JWay JSON path evaluator. And so what you can see on the left-hand side is we've got an order that has some information about the order. And then in particular, what we're interested in is it has a bunch of order items which have a product ID and a quantity and a price. And so what we're going to start with is we're going to work out how many items are contained in this order. And we can do this using the length function. So let's type that in there. And so you can see, there we go. It tells us there are three uh, items in there. So that's okay, that's kind of reasonably easy. But what about if we want to sum the quantity? So first of all, let's go in uh, into the items and we'll get the individual quantities. Uh, and let's print those out. So there we go, we can see we've got all the quantities there on the right hand side. And now you might think if we want to sum them, we should just put the dot sum uh, at the end of the command. But if we do that, uh, we'll actually get an error message. And so actually what we need to do is we need to wrap that first expression in the sum function. So let's just delete uh, the sum at the end and we'll put it at the beginning and then wrap it around that expression that got the quantities. And if we run that, you can see now we've got the correct computation for the sum of all the quantities. And we can do the same to work out the maximum of the quantities, the minimum uh, of the quantities and the average as well. And so what I wanted to show you next is that JSON path has been is used in lots of tools. One of those that uses it is Apache Pinot. And so what we can see on, at the moment is the Apache Pinot UI. And we've got an orders table that's got records similar to the one that we saw ingested. And the items have been pulled into the items column. And so you can see those on the screen now. And what we want to do is we're going to use this JSON extract scalar function to call a JSON path function and to try and do some of those aggregations that we saw uh, in the JWay tool. So the JSON extract scalar function takes in three arguments. So it takes in the name of a column, uh, it takes in the expression that you want to run, and then you need to say what's the type of the result. Uh, so let's start with counting the number of items. Uh, so we'll pass that in. So we go JSON extract scalar, we'll pass in items. Uh, let's set the type so it's going to be an int, int uh, and then we'll pass in our expression in the middle. So in this case, it's going to be just dollar dot length because we don't need to do the items because we already are the items. And so if we run that, then we'll get back the count of the number of order items in every single, uh, into every single row. Uh, now let's do something a bit more complicated. So let's get the get all the quantities. So we're going to use this very similar expression to before, but, in, but we don't need to put the, uh, the items bit on the beginning again. Uh, and this time our data type is going to be an int array. Uh, and so we can return that and so you can see there, now we've got all the quantities for every single, uh, every single order. Uh, and to sum them, uh, we put the dollar dot sum uh, expression at the beginning, wrap that around the quantities. There we go. We've now got the, the sum uh, of all the quantities for each record, and we can do the average uh, as well. And so that's the end of this video, and hopefully you can now go and use these JSON path functions uh, on your own data. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.